What's up everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to do these 3D battle maps that you see a lot of channels like Operation Room and other military channels do. I'm also going to be showing you how to get these 3D items into your scene and I'm going to be showing you how to do this ship wake effect as well as this gunfire effect and just a lot of numerous tricks along the way so let's get right into it. So before we get into After Effects, I want to show you where you can actually find these assets. So what I do is I use Evanto. And I come over here to the 3D tab and you're able to just type in anything you want. So for example, I'm going to type in ship and you can see we just get a massive library of ship. So for example, say we wanted this ship right here. We just hit view 360 vendor and then we could just give it a top down view and this is going to work perfect on our map. So I went ahead and bought in this military boat. It's like a little life raft or like some kind of little skiffle. And the first thing I want to show you is how to actually put a wake behind this. So the first thing you want to do is create a new solid. And it doesn't matter what the color of the solid is. I'm just going to call this wake. And you want to add the CC particle systems too. Okay, so once you've added this, you can come into the settings here and you want to move the playhead forward just a little bit. And you're going to be able to see your particle system going off. So if we go ahead and hit solo on this, all right, it's going to make it where we can only see that. And we can go ahead and begin playing with these settings. So for the particle type, I like to do a faded sphere. And I'm going to go ahead and bring this birth rate up. And I'm going to set the colors to be uh, a bluish color. Uh, kind of like some water and let's go ahead and, and change it to be a fire instead of explosive uh, another thing you could do is go ahead and grab this position and just bring it down so we can see more of it uh, this death color i'm going to set it to be a white so now we can mess with these other settings to kind of dial it into how we want it so i went ahead and played with mine quite a bit uh, if you want to copy my exact settings uh, you could find them here so I'm going to go ahead and unsolo this now. And essentially what you want to do is just line this up to be with your uh, object. So I'm going to make my protocol uh, just a little bigger here. So I'm just going to mess around with the settings and I think this is pretty good. Uh, now to actually position this, I'm going to rotate this by 90 degrees. And I'm just going to bring this up here. And it looks like we need to resize it a little bit. So I'm just going to scale the whole layer. And I'm going to go ahead and send this to the back. And from here, I'm just going to make sure it matches up pretty nicely. Okay, so I played around with it and I think that's looking pretty good. So one thing you do want to do is at the beginning, there's some ramp up time to your animation. So you want to come to when it's all the way up and we're just going to cut. Uh, so you can do control shift D. It's going to split the layer and just delete the second one. And we'll bring this to the start so there's no ramp up time. With it. The next thing we could do is go ahead and create a new little object and call this boat controller. We'll just take both of these and parent them to this object. And if we want to do zoom in or anything, we can just scale this object. So for example, if we want to start all the way out here and come into it, we can just do it like this. And this is giving us a sense of movement in the actual boat. Okay, so now let's go ahead and create some gunfire coming from this turret here. So for the gunfire, we're just going to do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and create a new solid, and I'm just going to name this gunfire. And we can go ahead and add this same CC particle system too to this. So now if we come under, if we drop everything down and we come under the particle type, we're going to actually keep it aligned this time. Uh, we're going to do fire once more on this. I'm just going to move this position down. So now we want to mess with the settings again and get this to be how we want it. So I'm going to set my death color to be a yellow color as well, just so they're both yellow. And I'll actually even color pick this so they're both the same. So I'm going to bring this long longevity down so they kind of fade out towards the end. And I'm going to bring this fire rate down too. And I'm going to go ahead and set this direction to be zero. And I'm going to bring this radius on the X axis to be zero so they're all coming from a single point. So I swapped this to be directional and I think it was a lot better. Uh, there's no exact science to this, it's just really whatever you think looks best so you kind of just have to play around with the settings. So I'm going to go ahead and set the anchor point of this solid object to be the same as the particle system so when we rotate it, uh, it'll rotate how we expect. So once again I do want to cut this layer just so we don't have any build up and I do want to add some small rotation to this. So I think this fire rate's a little too high. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it down. And the way I'm gonna do that is with this birth rate. So I'm gonna turn this velocity down as well. I'm gonna just turn it up just a little bit. So I'm noticing now this point isn't completely lined up, so I'm just gonna fix that. So another thing I like to do is add the glow effect to this. And I find that makes it look a lot better. But I think for this, since we have the yellow wake, I think yellow is gonna look a little bit better. So this is just the tip of the iceberg of what you can do. Uh, I do have this composition here as well. And you can see uh, on Ivanto, there's actual explosion effects as well, uh, which you're going to be able to animate those and add those to your map comp. Uh, there's some clouds here. 
you can see this plane got struck down and, and this is a, a particle system as well with this smoke and this bullet fire so you're able to make particle systems like that uh, this fire is just from avanto it's just a 2d top down 3d element so it's this battleship and if you actually come in you can see the details can be as specific as you want these planes are all 3d objects as well from avanto and so are these people they didn't come out too well but these uh military people are actually on board on the deck of the ship or from Avanta as well. So I just want to give you some insight into how these battle maps are done and hopefully give you some ideas for your own battle maps. And if you like this video, uh, be sure to check out more. Uh, if you want more videos like this one, be sure to let me know in the comments.